Hello there, my name is Ismas and today we're going to be looking at uh, some advanced texturing in Blender 2.8 and uh, this is what we're going to be looking at, a texturing a road. Uh, as you can see, we have two different materials here but uh, all in the same shader. Uh, we have the asphalt and we have the dirt and uh, if you look closely, you can see that uh, I have two different uh, principal BSDF uh, materials. One is for the asphalt and uh, one is for uh, the dirt and I use a mask, uh, this mask here, uh, to separate uh, the asphalt uh, from the dirt and uh, that mask is fed directly into the next shader and uh, we get our final material output which is a mixture of uh, the two. So if you want to examine this project, uh, these uh, nodes, you can find them on my Patreon page. I'll be uploading them uh, over there uh, so that you can look at them and uh, examine them. If uh, uh, yes, so. Yeah, let's uh, continue breaking down uh, this a bit. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the mask uh, that I created here. Uh, so as you can see, it's a very, very simple mask and uh, and it's only powered by these three nodes here. So if we look at it here, actually it's powered by these nodes here. So uh, if you look at it here, you can see it's just a gradient uh, texture and with a car ramp uh, because uh, by default the gradient texture does, is not that strong or it doesn't have enough contrast so I give it a car ramp to, to adjust uh, the contrast to make that contrast uh, really powerful uh, to have that sharp contrast and uh, then what I did is uh, did the same I uh, recreated the same gradient but this time flipped it uh, using using this uh, flip color ramp uh, option here to flip it on the other side uh, like that now you might also notice if you add a car ramp, it might be uh, oriented or rotated in a different direction. So that's why you see I have these mapping nodes uh, to help me control the direction or flow of the of that gradient. So uh, if I touch uh, the Z rotation, I th let me see what rotation is that. Let me preview this gradient here. You can see that uh, I can change uh, the direction of uh, that gradient. So you can use these texture coordinate maps uh, to control the orientation or the, the flow of uh, the gradient uh, but uh, for me zero zero is just good enough for me so that's why you see I didn't touch any of that uh, what I did touch is the X location uh, for you it might be a different uh, uh, location uh, to change uh, the positioning of uh, the gradient you can see yeah so if you slide this you can see that uh, it jumps really quickly but uh, if you wanted to have if you want to have smaller increments or uh, you can hold down shift as you slide uh, this here to have a much better control over your, uh, your gradient like that and uh, what I did is I used a shift a, a convert math node uh, with the operation of mat multiply to mix or to blend uh, these two gradients you can see that uh, one is on this uh, side uh, let me make sure that I have ah, I'm previewing the wrong node uh, you can see one is on the uh, on this side and the other one is on this side so to mix them i used uh, a multiply math node a, a math node with the operation of multiply uh, to have uh, the two blended uh, to have both mask on the other side so only the white parts will show the asphalt and uh, the black parts will show the dirt so then uh, so bec because this was really smooth a smooth transition i wanted it to be broken up a bit uh, that, that's why you see I added this other node setup, which is simply a texture, a dark texture, and a car ramp uh, to break it up into a black and white image uh, that I can use as a greater than uh, in the in another math node. Uh, let me just show you how I did it. So I just changed, added a math node and changed the operation to greater than, and uh, mixing the two this here these results are with this gave us uh, this so it breaks up uh, this smooth uh, line how uh, we had and uh, you can control that how smooth this is uh, by using uh, this gradient and uh, you can also control how large uh, those are by uh, playing around with the scale of the uh, of this texture and I think this looks actually much better uh, so that was uh, the mask again fed directly into uh, the mix node of uh, that blended the two materials to have something like this and you can see I can go over to the mask 
and start conf uh, playing around with that mask uh, to get different results. So I'll be after the explanation, I'm going to leave the time lapse to play uh, so that you can watch everything, how I set up everything from the sculpting of this rod and uh, just setting up everything. So you can see, um, I also, if I wanted to make this rod longer, I'll just add a car ramp, sorry, an array modifier and then a car modifier. I would also have to scale this up so that we don't have those weird issues. Yeah, so that's a... This is focusing only on the texturing. Yes, so then let's talk about the asphalt for a bit. Uh, so if we go into that, uh, you can see that uh, we have first the asphalt, uh, which is just uh, a tileable texture, asphalt texture, uh, that is blended or mixed with uh, these lines here, uh, which is basically this here. And uh, to get rid of the, some of those details here, because I already have uh, the text this texture driving the asphalt uh, I used the greater than uh, convert math node uh, to kind of cut out some of the white parts uh, so that I can use that um, as a mask uh, to blend uh, the lines over the asphalt without including the asphalt that comes with uh, the lines so this is why we have this and uh, then what I did uh, I thought I could add a few details in here. Uh, that's why you see I added this kind of marble texture uh, to add a few cracks with, so that I can add some bit of detail into the asphalt. Uh, then I used a car ramp to, uh, to crush some of the details uh, that I don't need there. And uh, also I used the power node to do the same thing. And I used that as the mask to add some of those uh, yellow stuff there see which really look nice uh, when we mix the entire thing you can see how that looks and uh, again you can control it something like that you can see it looks like uh, some green stuff is growing through uh, the cracks uh, there and again uh, I use these uh, cracks from the marble from the marble texture as uh, the bump map uh, for our uh, asphalt uh, to get those cracks uh, from the asphalt. So that's the asphalt. Uh, it wasn't that uh, complicated. Uh, again, I used whatever I got from this as uh, the roughness and I just added this uh, add math mode uh, to, to kind of control how reflect how shiny uh, the surface is. But uh, as you can see that I can control that easily uh, using this at node and uh, that's the asphalt are uh, the are uh, the let me just preview the final thing are uh, the dirt here is nearly the same thing uh, it's just blending a lot of things uh, together uh, but uh, the first thing I did uh, is uh, I baked out after I sculpted uh, this road I baked out a point names map uh, let me see if I can find that okay yeah this point names map uh, to kind of get some bit some bit of details uh, from the road and I can see just increase the contrast for that and uh, use that as a mask uh, for mixing for blending these two materials here yeah. so that it's just adding some set of material you can watch the time-lapse to see maybe to get a better understanding of why I did this because I think I, my explanation may not be good enough to explain why I did this but uh, uh, if you watch the time lapse and see how things change while I'm adding these details you can really get a feel for why I did uh, those things but uh, basically that's the same I just blended uh, the materials over and over until I got uh, th uh, what I wanted you can see nothing too complicated so you can see this was non tileable uh, this texture was not tileable, so what I did is I blended it with uh, another uh, material uh, until I got something uh, that looked. Yeah, you still see a little seams here, but uh, it doesn't matter since uh, after we mix this with the uh, with the asphalt, it breaks up uh, those seams uh, really well. Yeah, so that's 
what I did. Uh, I'll be posting uh, the time lapse on my second channel, uh, which is Blender Money. Uh, so if you want to watch that, you can go and watch that from there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's basically it. And uh, yeah, so I use the same technique uh, to make uh, these hills, to texture these hills. You can see that uh, the troughs or divots on these hills kind of have that dark uh, material. So you can watch the time lapse over my second channel, uh, Blender Money, to see how I made all of that, set up all of that. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial.